All right, so I'm uh, Irish uh, Terry Hogan. No matter what happens to me, you win that fight, Arch. For sure, Arch. You win that fight. God better not let him hurt my pup. That'll depend on how good you make Mr. Harris look. You're gonna make the man that broke the bank at Monte Carlo look like a piker. And Leonard, I mean, bring some dough. At least 50 G's. And of course, you have unlimited credit in the casino. Sam, where are you? Vegas, Nevada, the fight of the century, co-promoted by the Arch Kingston Sickle Cell Anemia Foundation and Harry Trent Enterprises, presenting for the light heavyweight championship of the world, the undefeated former champion Arch Kingston against Gene Harris, the leading contender. Now the main event of the evening, Harry Trent Enterprises in co-production with the Arch Kingston Sickle Cell Anemia Foundation brings you the light heavyweight championship of the world! Good evening, this is Tom Kelly, and to you millions of fans and over 800 closed circuit outlets throughout the world, welcome. Tonight, a great champion, a living legend, returns from retirement, not merely for the purpose of going against this young brawler from Texas, but to oh, meet Lord. a far deadlier opponent. Lord, help him, boy. Thank you, Lord. Vicious disease called sickle cell anemia. And every punch thrown by the champion is another way of putting that killer down for the count. Here comes the champion now. Arch, you take the handcuffs off. Sam will have me here any minute. That's what you said in the dressing room. I don't see him. Any minute, take my word. I'm not going to take your word for anything. And now i got to go in there and do it. This corner in the red trunks, the leading contender at six feet, 174 and three quarter pounds, the mean Gene Harris. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in the white trunks at 5'10, 174 pounds, the man who retired two years ago. As the undefeated light heavyweight champion of the world, the great Arch Kingston! Listen to that ovation. It's an accolade, folks. A tribute to a man recognized pound for pound as the greatest fighter of them all. As you know, ladies and gentlemen, Harry Trent Enterprises proudly announces that this television fight is being satellited all over the world. Welcome to our fans in Europe, Latin America, and Asia! What you said you couldn't make it? Well, the symposium ended at noon, and so I caught an earlier plane. Leonard, you look terrible. What's wrong? Everything's wrong. Where's Sam? That's what I'd like to know. Everything depends on his getting here. Shake hands and come out fighting. May the best men win. And there's the bell for round one. Oh, Harris has come out fast, like he has no respect for the champ's famous left hook. The champ is ducking, jabbing. This is a switch, folks. Arch Kingston, famous for never taking a backward step, is on the defensive. Oh, Abby, it's all my fault. I blew it right from the top. What are you talking about, Leonard? 
talking about yesterday afternoon, 24 hours ago, when there was still time to do it right. Yesterday evening, to be exact, in Sam's office. Irish Terry Hulk. It's a cover name, Sam. It's safe. One of our agents used it in the Wisconsin case. He actually fought in the Golden Gloves in Duluth. Oh, yeah? Okay, but why me? To protect Arch Kingston. <laughs> Are you kidding me, Leonard? Arch Kingston needs about as much protection as a lion in a cage full of pussycats. Yeah, well, he's in a cage full of jackals at the moment. Sam, when Arch's brother died, he lost all taste for the prize ring. He quit in his prime. He dedicated himself to fighting sickle cell anemia. And now Harry Trent is exploiting that dedication with this charity fight. Arch won't listen to any criticism against Trent. We've got to protect him from himself. Leonard, Arch is a big boy now. He's got to learn to protect himself. Yeah. And Trent is a crooked conniver. Oh, he's got an angle somewhere. Somehow he'll come away with his pocket stuffed, and when the scandal breaks, Arch will be getting most of the heat. So you want me to meddle, huh? Call it what you like. Get close to Arch. Spy on him. If that's what it takes to protect him, yeah. Well, what about our charter, Leonard? Intersect has no jurisdiction in the fight game. I know, I know, I know. I'm asking this as a personal favor. Unofficial, off the record. Um, can I use uh, this? Or is this strictly for government business? You can use it. All right, so I'm uh, Irish uh, Terry Hogan. Where are you from? Duluth. Irish Terry Hogan's the name. I don't know. You've never heard of you. Who's your manager? You could be if you want the job, Mr. Moore. I just come up from the amateurs. Yeah. You can get a few bouts under your belt. We'll see. I'm a comer, Mr. Moore. I'm telling you, man, I'm a comer. They all are, kid. Hey, Mr. Moore? I was, uh, I was hoping I'd get to see Kingston. I gotta model my style after his. <laughs> He'll be down in a minute. He's got a pound to sweat off before the noon weigh-in. Hey, thanks. <laughs> May we come in, Arch? Good morning, Mr. Kingston. I uh, believe you know Mr. Reese. Well, Arch, can I tell you? Got some good news and some bad news. Oh. I'll go get dressed, son. All right. Thank you, Mr. Kingston. Well, the good news is that the fight is a box office smash. I'm talking about worldwide. You know something? Your foundation stands to become richer by $40 million. Oh. Hey, now, that's the good news, Mr. Trent. Now, what about the bad news? Well, the bad news is that you're going to lose. <laughs> hey, now, that's, that's a real put-on, man. Arch, I'll let you in on a little secret. I own Gene Harris. Hey, 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 wait, Mr. Trent, now, a promoter can't own a fighter. Now, uh, what if somebody was to find out? They won't. I don't think I like this, man. You don't like a shot at a fortune? Think about this, Arch. A new young champ. The white hope who smashes the great Arch Kingston. We match him with a couple of setups and make a killing. And all you have to do is leave your left hook in the locker room. Let him beat your ears off for a while. Just make it look good. Come on, you know. I'll cut you in for 20%. Oh, look, man, that's 20% from nothing because I'm going to lay your white hope out in one round. What? I don't believe this. Hey, Come on. Believe it. Hey, man, there's a million kids out there that think I'm the greatest thing since soul food. That's the only reason why I came back, so that maybe they won't have to die the way my brother Joey did. Of course, Arch. That's what I was counting on all along. That's why you have to play along with me. Because if you back out, 
The stink will ruin you and your foundation. Get out of here, Mr. Trent. I just want you to think it over, buddy. You know, I've been decent to you. But you want to play hardball? <laughs> we play hardball. But you might not like my next move. Did you hear that, Pop? Yeah. Couldn't help but hear it, son. Now, he's got me trapped. I'm gonna call the commissioner and report this, but if I do that, then the foundation is out all that money. Son, you ever done anything wrong that man could use against you? No, Pop, you know better than that. You sure? Sure I am. <laughs> Ain't nothing that man can do to you. He's the one who's trapped, not you. His Gene Harris won't be worth a nickel after you whoop it. And there's nothing stopping you, nothing. Yeah, but that's a pretty tough type, though, Pop. Son, don't never let your fears get the best of you. Your cause is righteous and the Lord is on your side. Hey, look. Pop, I got more faith in my left hook than I got in the Lord. Arch. Arch. You're gonna let all them sick folks down. No, Pop, I won't, I, won't, I won't let them down. We'll, we'll find a way out of this somehow, won't we? <laughs> Still a pound over, Arch. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to put you in the sweat box, baby. No, I think I'd rather work it off in the rain, man. Hey, you know we never boxed the day of a fight. Look, Biggie, I'm kind of uptight, man. Just give me a chase, all right? I haven't got any sparring partners. I sent them all home. But what about that kid I saw when I came in? Irish Terry, somebody. Yeah. OK. I'll ask you. You welded to that watch? Oh, yeah, that's uh, got to wear my watch. It's my good luck piece. All right. A couple of rounds ought to do it now. All right, now you chase, Hogan. You got it? Yeah, got chase. it. Chase. Got it, got it. Okay. Turn! About Hogan. Told me to give you a message. What message? You're supposed to meet Trent in your suite after the weigh-in. You talk you in with him, ain't you? I know, man. He's up, champ. He's up. Easy. All right, Tom. Tom. Now that's my answer for Trent, punk. Champ, champ, huh? champ, champ. What's the matter, baby? You're gonna hurt your knuckle. Hey, you get him out of here before I kill him. Hey, man, listen. Why right, you heard the champ? Get it. No, wait. Move. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Arch threw him out of the training camp. No, 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 I mean, 
What when then? Right afterwards, Sam phoned me. It was about 10.30 this morning. I was still at Intersect. You mean Arch thinks you're one of Harry Trent's boys? Yep. I'm off to a great start, huh? The guy I'm trying to help hates my guts. Well, what about the meeting Trent's supposed to have with Arch? I'll be there. Unseen, of course. Uh, Leonard, you better believe it. I've had enough of the champ's left hook. Hey, Pop! Hey, Pop! What are you hanging around here for, Hogan? Oh, on my floor. This is 17. Hey, you're not Hogan. Don't dare. How'd you know you? Well, the real Hogan was burning up the Golden Gloves pretty good in Duluth about three years ago. Trent sent me up to have a look at him. Then who's this guy? That's what Trent's gonna want to find out. I don't care who this guy is. Now I'm putting it to Arch in a couple of minutes. I don't want some guy nosing around. There's a lot of desert out there. Use it. Take a hole deep enough for two, huh? Sure. Layer cake. We'll put Snoop on the bottom. Yeah, and after the fight, old man kicks him on top. What the? How did he get out? You closed the trunk, right? You closed the trunk, man. Maybe the lock sprung off. Well, then he's probably lying back there on the road somewhere. You pay a fortune for wheels, and what do you get? Man, you better trade in one of your two left feet. Shove off, shove off, huh? I mean, hold it. Settle down, will you? Come on, you might need me. Need you for what? I'm afraid something's happened to your father, Arch. Pop, he ain't been in no accident or nothing, has he? Well, I don't exactly know, but uh, if I were you, I'd keep my eye on that phone. Because in a few seconds, it's going to ring, and then we'll both find out. Hello. Arch. Pop, where are you? I don't exactly know, son, but no matter what happens to me, you win that fight, Arch. For joy, Arch, you win that fight. Go, go. Pop? Hello? Mr. Kingston? Who is this? You don't have to know, Mr. Kingston. All you have to know is that we're holding your father. You call the FBI, you'll never see your father alive again. We'll be in touch. Hello? Hello? I was afraid of that, Arch. Somebody snatched your dad, huh? Yeah, man. By you. You mother. Hit me, and that's all she wrote, buddy. Go ahead. Poor guy. I know how you feel. Hey. 
I got an old man, too, you know. Hey, we'll just skip the bull, man. Get to the point. Okay. The point is simple. A happy ending, of course, for you, me, the Foundation, and your father. And Harris, too. Happy for him, too. Huh? You got that! Can't do it, man. I'll never lay down, man. I never don't know how. I'm ashamed of you. What kind of a son wouldn't do a simple little thing like that to save his father's life? Okay. His blood is on your head, friend. Trent. Mr. Trent. You better not let him hurt my pup. Well, boy, that'll depend on how good you make Mr. Harris. Spook, huh? Only ding dongs make racial slurs. Ding dong! Hey, 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 hey. Look, most people, no matter what color they are, are good folks. Now you remember that, all right? Yes, sir, Chief. <laughs> Where are you going, Chief? I'm going in to pray for my pop. Is he sick? Yeah, he, he's very sick. Can we go, Chief? We'll pray for your pop too. Can't hurt. Understand that I'm not here asking for anything for myself. Because why should you help a backslider like me? But my pop's no backslider. And it's him that I'm praying for. He's in bad trouble. He's always fought your battles, Lord. How about you fighting his? Please help him, Lord. Amen. Look, don't bother me here, Hogan. This is not the place. I got you. I understand. There's a couple of things I think you want to know. First of all, my name isn't Hogan. I'm a friend of Leonard Driscoll's. He asked me to give you a hand. Name's Sam Casey. Are you an agent? That's right. Intersect. Look, I can't talk to you, man. Look, Arch, you know about your own. Look, I don't want to hear it. I... Look, all you're going to do is get him killed. Hey, Arch, come on. Hey, man, just give me a chance to help you out. Just leave me alone, man. Leave me alone. Come on, kids, let's go. Hey, Arch. You had the chin, dude. You leave it. You guys really want my advice? Sure, Chad. 
right, so now you gotta remember that the only way you're ever gonna get anything in this life is through a lot of hard work. It's the only way you ever get to be a champ. Maybe not at fighting, certainly at something. So you just remember now to respect your mom and dad and you go to school every day and... Kids, wait right yeah. here. Talk to you later, all right? Okay, Thank bye, you. Bye. 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 Hey, man. This is the second time I almost got my ticket punched because of you. What do you say, uh, let's go someplace and get our act together, huh? All right. All right. <laughs> Watch that aisle. Sam will be walking down at any moment now with Mr. Kingston. As soon as the champ sees his dad is safe, goodbye, Harris. I don't understand, Leonard. How did Sam find Mr. Kingston? Well, it was right after that fight in the street. Arch realized for the first time that Sam was really out to help him. So he began to cooperate. What time did you get that phone call? More than an hour ago. And you didn't recognize the voice, huh? Oh. Wherever they're holding your dad, I'll find him. Hey, in five hours, I gotta climb into that ring, man. If you don't find him by then, I'm gonna have to lay down. You understand that? Understand? And you gotta promise me you won't go to the FBI, Sam. If you do, they'll kill him. Okay, man, you got it. I promise. Hey, wait. If Trent sees you leave here, he's gonna know I talked, man. Don't worry, Arch. Nobody's gonna see me. You got my word on that, too. Hey, buddy, do me one favor. Turn around. Why? Why? What do you want to know why? Just do it on trust, all right? On trust? All right. I pray to the Lord you don't let me down. You can count on it. But, uh, hold on, Sam. Hold on. I haven't worked as a field agent in years. Hey, Leonard, who else am I supposed to get? Huh? I mean, it was you that told me this mission was strictly personal, right? It is. Well, I guess it's me or nobody, huh? Leonard, you're much better than nobody. Oh, is that so? Well, I can still teach you a thing or two, hot shot. Hey, that's a spirit, coach. All right, Tiger, I'll tell you what I want you to do. Call one of your rich, high-rolling Texas friends and borrow his ID. Any particular reason why? Yep, you're gonna make the man who broke the bank at Monte Carlo look like a piker. And Leonard, I mean, bring some dough. At least 50 Gs. Oh, hold on, Sam, hold on. I can't use intersex money for this. Where do I get 50 G? I don't know. Work us the house. Sam? Sam! <laughs> This will have to do. Well, it's because of the fight, Mr. King. We're jammed. Now, first thing tomorrow morning, I will move you into the presidential suite. And, of course, you have unlimited credit in the casino. Oh, well, uh, hold on, Mr. Tramp. Those uh, roulette wheels make me dizzy. <laughs> I was looking for some uh, real action. 
Oh, well, of course, Mr. King. You know, as a matter of fact, I've invited a few high rollers up to my penthouse for a pre-fight snack and some no-limit stud. Perhaps you'd like to join us. Well, uh, that sounds more like it. Yeah, it's about 7 o'clock. Fine. See you then. Sam. You've really got 50 thou here. What'd you do, Leonard? What'd you, mortgage the house? No, I borrowed it from Dallas King along with his ID. You son of a gun. All right. OK, here's the gig. As you know, Trent's penthouse security is so tight a fly, I couldn't get in there without an invitation. So, when you go in, I'm going in. Right behind you. Well, what are we after? I want to check out his office, Leonard. I don't know anything I can find there that could lead me to Archer's dad. Oh, that's a long shot. Hey, Leonard, it's the only shot we've got. Two trays speak louder than my king high. Well, five more light. Hmm? Uh, clumsy of me. I don't know how it happened. Call your five. Ice card coming up. An ace. A four. I have more light. Okay. I just got a pair of trays. Well, well, well. Cash me in, Mr. Caster. 
It's about time to leave for the fight. I'd like to go to my suite and freshen up a bit. Just about what I came in with. Perhaps again tomorrow night, Mr. Trent. Well, I really did enjoy that game, Mr. Trent. Yes, I'm sure you did. Trick, Mr. Kingston. Trick. <laughs> oh, no. It's a miracle of the Lord. Miracle. Okay, you got it? Yeah. All right. As soon as you get me untied, we're going to get out of here. Those, those, those men are still in the office. I hear them. It's all right. With the Lord's help, Pop, we're going to make it. That's it. Door's still locked. He couldn't have got off. Hey, old man, get back in there. Praise the Lord. Right behind you, Pop. Come on, let's get out of here. Thank God, man. Get out there and take that turkey, all right? I can. He's beating all the fight out of me, man. You can't, hey, man. You're the oh. champ. Don't forget that. You are the champ. You He's get... beating all the fight out of me. I'll be with you every inch of the way, baby. Every inch of the way, I'll be out there with you. Spirit, Arch. Spirit. Come on, get him. Okay, drink.
helpless, helpless folks, but as he stepped in to finish him, he slipped. Well, Harris sinks the decision anyway. Stupid Reese. Our boy would have had a knockout for sure if Reese hadn't let Pop get away. I can't figure out what happened. You're with him later, all right? for a finishing right hand, but instead of throwing it, he just fainted it, and Arch has danced away. Mr. Harry Trent has had it. Reese is talking a blue streak, and the locals have busted the whole bunch on a kidnapping charge. Well, it couldn't happen to a nicer bunch of crooks. Hey, Sam. Hey, how are you, man? Sam. How are you doing? Do you mind I call you Sam? Hey, Bob, my feelings would be hurt if you called me anything else. I kind of feel like you, my son, too, after all you've done for my boy. You know, Sam, that 14th round was the toughest part, man. It really helped when you said you'd be in there with me. It was almost like you were. It was. In spirit uh, only, he means. <laughs> well, after what I'd seen Sam done, <laughs> I just knew the power of the Lord was with him. Of course, my boy, he thinks it's all nonsense because he don't want much truck with the Lord. Oh, no, Pop. I asked the Lord for help, too. And he sure came through. You did, son. He always comes through. Goodbye. Hey. God bless you all. Hey, Pop, it was a pleasure meeting you. Pop. All right. All right. Keep it up. See you guys later. Yeah. Hey, Sam, you know something? Not only did I get all of Dallas King's money back, but I'm $20 to the good. It's wonderful. Aren't you? Here you go. Keep it. 
wish you were generous with my winnings. It's a price you pay for cheating. Cheating? They were cheating me. Uh, 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 Blind. Uh, uh, Leonard. Let him without sin cast the first stone. Sam. 